Well, at least the cinematic wasn't leaked. <laughs> Hello, my fellow warriors! Hope you're doing well. Because whoever's in charge of Riot's data security is clearly not. Like, how is it that the Briar Splasher got leaked when the cinematic teasers hadn't even been released yet? Now, here's the thing. When I heard that we're getting a vampire Noxian jungler, I was expecting someone from Vlad's Crimson Circle. I mean, we were recently introduced to a character that might have had a connection to him, and because he was also just released on Wild Rift. Which, yeah, I didn't react to because I got spoiled. My other assumption was that we'll get someone unique, like Striga from Castlevania or Ceres from Helsing. But we got another kid. Or at least someone who looks like a kid, but is not actually a kid. <laughs> now Briar's lore is basically the Black Rose made her, Swain stole and confined her. And like Silas, she learned to use the restraints for her own advantage. She's been thirsty as fuck to her blood deprivation, and now she wants to escape and leave her fulfilling vampire gremlin life. Not the Noxian story I expected, considering this is what she looks like when she's in full frenzy. They could have gone the horror route. We hadn't had a horror character in god knows how long, and to this day, the Fiddlestick cinematic has like over 13 million views. They had an amazing opportunity to make this into like a really awesome horror character with like the quirkiness and everything else, but they didn't do it. Just like when we were told about Rel's fucked up scarring and sigils that were never implemented into her design, or how something that was supposedly corrupt with the Black Mist and had a fragment of a dead queen's soul ended up looking like this even though the Maiden falls under that same description. And speaking of descriptions, let's talk about Briars. Because I've been avoiding leaked Twitter like it's the 21st of November 2017, hoping for Riot to not do the thing they've already done in the past. But instead we got this. Briar is naive, but not childish. A woman, but not sexualized. Has all the confidence of a fresh college graduate, with a face that shows a lot of her eagerness and excitement, feet and stands that communicate hesitance, and her hands, restrained at the wrists, showing her inner hunger. For her shape, they wanted to give her thicker legs and bottom half with a more petite upper body. The idea here is that if she's actually made from blood magic, she should be a little bit more bottom heavy, like an IV bag. Yeah, um, if a man ever described me as bottom heavy like an IV bag, I would have resorted to unlawful behavior. I wish I hadn't read this before watching the cinematic because I physically feel uncomfortable. But as always, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's pretend like that description never happened and nobody actually took the time to write that vile shit about Briar uh, and watch the cinematic and enjoy it. Okay? Okay. Let's go. And start. She's got oh. Blood. oh, she's got blood. That's not good. Oh, you're escaping too? Oh my god. Why does she sound like Jinx? <laughs> She's been fed. On your guard. Nazi! <laughs> my boys! That's my friend. Oh god. And your food! What? Are you Spider-Versing it? They Spider-Verse it? Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this is so awesome. Stop, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And the music? What? And? Wasn't that fun? Huh. Oh my god. That is so good. This is so perfect. What the fuck? Yeah, so basically this is like Jinx meeting Nimona, which is absolutely amazing. But what would have made it better is if she was simply older. You want to bring in all the suggestive innuendos, talking about feet, locked up arms, and being thirsty? No problem! Make her into a fucking adult! And by adult, I mean not just change her little age and be like, yeah, this is acceptable. I mean actually making her look like an adult and not have the face 
of a Pixar child with the body of a Pixar mom. Like, I honestly wasn't that bothered until I read her fucking description. But besides that... She ate. She ate and left no crumbs. That frenzy design? Chef's kiss. Animation? Mind-blowing. Music? Breathtaking. Also, by the way, that sounds like a really solid pentacle track, so if you ever want to add it in there and, you know, add some lyrics, a little spice, a couple of snares, that would be delicious fucking food. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for the algorithm gods. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon or donate to my crowdfund page. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>